Hello everyone, this is Curran. This photograph of the young Muslim terrorist who is apparently only 21 walking into the Mumbai railroad station with an AK-47 to kill who knows how many people, how many very innocent people, is heartbreaking. So young and so bent with rage, true tragedy on both sides. The Muslim rage in India is a smoldering fire that will probably create more tragedy. Its roots are historic and deep and unknown to most Westerners. We think of India as Hindu and are unaware that prior to the British, much of India was ruled by enlightened and tolerant Muslim dynasties. The history is complex, but the gist of it is that the Hindus and the British suppressed the Muslims. In one generation in the 1850s, Muslims went from nearly 100% literacy with status in society to 20% literacy and outsiders. These are not happy people. With independence from Britain, Muslims became, of course, Pakistan and India became Hindu. But there is still a sizable Muslim minority in India who face major discrimination in jobs, education, and social acceptance. In 2002, there were anti-Muslim riots in the state of Gujarat, and please excuse my mispronunciation of that name, that killed over 2,000 people, mostly Muslims. The challenge to democracy in India is huge. We can only hope and pray that people with goodwill on both sides <laughs> perhaps all sides, can be inspired by the examples of Mahatma Gandhi and Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa, when comforting a dying Muslim, would read to them from the Quran. Can we learn?